I, I hope well, they both I, get fresh I, starts. You know, I, I just. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I think in Christian marriages, we underestimate the power of forgiveness. And the, okay. and, the, yeah. and, the, and the redemption in an apology. And I don't say that because I know Christianity is under attack. Oh, y'all always forgiven. I'm sorry. The foundation of my Christian faith is based on forgiveness. I can't, I can't avoid it. If I try to shuck around it, I'm going to end up losing everything that I stand for. And that's just for me, right? My wife and I have sat down with close friends who said that once they cheated, we out. And then they actually find out that they actually love them. <laughs> you know, yes, like, you yes. know, they, they, they care about them. And, you know, when you say for better or for worse, it means for better or for worse. Now, I know what, I know what y'all thinking. Somebody's like, well, ain't, ain't, nobody should stay in a marriage where they're getting beat. Absolutely not. I'm not even talking in that context. My sisters, do whatever you have to do to get safe. Just don't do it in Florida because you can get arrested for protecting yourself as a black woman. I want to make that clear. Don't do it in Florida. Right. <laughs> but hey, get safe. So please. So I'm not I'm not necessarily dealing with the domestic violence piece. I want you safe. I grew up around that stuff. So it's not nice and it's not friendly. Right. But I think we can't underestimate the peace of forgiveness when we know that our hearts and our minds are not always right. Right. Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitfully wicked. Who can know it? but the Lord. And so when I look at things from that context, it helps me put into perspective, this is going to hurt. This is going to cost. What I say to men, you don't get to dictate her forgiveness. If she's forgiven you and wants to see your cell phone every night, cough the cell phone up. If she's forgiven you and wants access to your email, Cough the email up. Like, like we as men just can't say, hey, I made a mistake. How long are you going to hold this over me? No. We have to be, when, when it talks about submitting yourselves one to another in marriage, in Ephesians, when it talks about that, you have to be able to do whatever she needs you to do to reconcile the right way, to make her comfortable, and to make her trust you again. And if men are not, if husbands are not willing to do that, then it just adds more fuel to the fire. And then you're right, Queen Jay. You are looking around with this chip on your shoulder, like, can I can I trust you going to Vegas with the fellas? The answer is no. Right. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said no, yeah. not at all. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So yeah. that's I don't, I don't... so that's when it becomes like, okay, you know, yeah. I I love forgiveness, but you know, I do it, I don't know. Sometimes I put that in the same boat as domestic abuse. It's it's emotionally abusive. Um, so I don't know. Mm, yeah. That's a tough one, yeah. I guess. You know. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, like, I, I, I look. I, I don't. I don't have a. There's no magic wand here for me. You correct. Know? I haven't had to. Right. I haven't had to deal with infidelity. So I could be sitting here, but you know, when those things happen, like it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of counseling. A lot. Of it work. takes a lot of Thank mentoring. You. It take. It takes a lot of wisdom from an older generation who've been through some of these things and are still together after 50 or 60 years, right? So I'm not saying there's a there's an end all be all. I just know for me, because of the love that Christ tells me to have for my wife and to give myself for her, right? If I have to love her that hard, it means that I have to love her through any mistake that she makes. And I want her to love me through any mistake that I make. And it's hard yeah. But if you, my wife said, hey, one of our goals, husband, is I want us to out love each other in this marriage. I love that. And That's I was like, perfect. I, you know me, I'm like, what are you talking about? Are you trying to get deep? She was like, no, if we spend more time trying to out love each other and not trying to out compete each other, yep. it's a win win. And that's why we're on a win win. Absolutely. You know, completely and, agree. Yeah, yeah. It's make no mistake. I tell people marriages work. But we fight for our jobs. We fight for our kids. I'm going to fight for the love of my life who I swore to honor and protect and defend and to die for and to stay with forever. I have to bring I have I have to bring that to the table. I have to live that and I have to show that no one's sitting here saying marriage is easy, but it can be if you put the right work in and you utilize the right tools, you can make it and you can thrive and you can be happy, you know. 
if we learned anything, like let's not let's not mistake the love affair we got to see between Barack and Michelle in the Oval Office. How they were affectionate towards each other in, in public, how they held hands that were genuine, that was not forced. I mean, we have to capitalize on that kind of love and that Thank kind you. of black love that can exist within our community and within our relationships. But you got to put in that work. And the work is for the benefit of you. It's not to tear you down. It's not to destroy you. It's to help build you up. That's what it's there for. My wife is my help me. She drops wisdom nuggets all the time, all the time. Going into meetings a couple of weeks ago, she was like, now I know what the Lord has been telling you, husband. You know you. Keep your tongue still. And when I kept my tongue still, the Holy Spirit revealed everything that was going on without me saying one word to anybody. And so it's listening to her, my wisdom. Five percenters call their wives their wisdom, like listening to her wisdom. And I call her wisdom, like listening to her. It's, it's, it's enhanced every part of my life with her being by my side. My wife has stayed home for 16 years. She said, I didn't worry about anything. God gave me a dream that you were my covering. So whether you were making 40,000 or 80,000, he said, you're my provider and you're going to take care of me. So I don't, I don't worry about money. I don't worry about that stuff. And I'm like, done and done. yeah, she's done and done. I'm like, well, I, I got to pay <laughs> bills and I got to, I got to run it. She's done and done. She walks by faith that much. And so it's inspirational. 